Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Botania mod in Minecraft 1.16.5. This is a really, really natural magic as they describe themselves there, sort of a mod. Basically it revolves around the flora in Minecraft and all the cool things that you can do with that. Adding so much more into it. Um, and there's actually a almost recipe book that is added in through Botania called the Lexica Botania and we'll be showing you how to get that in game today so it's really really cool and it's one of the coolest magic mods out there in my opinion specifically one of the coolest magic mods that revolves around farming in my opinion so overall it's a really really cool mod but first we have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server we actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them so if you want to start your very own Minecraft server check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown .xyz slash apex to get your Minecraft server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead though and get Botania up and running in your Minecraft single player. To do that, you want to go to the second link down below and that's actually going to take you here. This is Botania and it's going to be the official download page for Botania. On the right hand side, we then want to come over here and scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.16 and then under that we see Botania-1.16.5. That's the version we want. Let's go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that and it will take us off to a page where after a few seconds we will need to save the file once it's downloaded. So, you can see downloading boom now the file appears in the bottom left on Google Chrome and we can go ahead and click keep and on Mozilla Firefox it'll appear in the center of your screen where you'll need to save you will need to keep and save it depending on whichever browser you have Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox now there's actually two more mods two more compatibility mods that Botania requires and this is where a lot of people get thrown off when installing Botania the first one it's Patchouli and this is what allows the Lexica Botania like basically book to appear in game right so once we're here we want to go over here to the right hand side same process find Minecraft 1.16 now the 1.16.4 version of Patchouli does work in 1.16.5, so we're good to download the 1.16.4 version in this case. Click on the orange download button on the right there, and after a few seconds it will download. Same process, we need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. So in the bottom left, we will keep it, Mozilla Firefox, save it in the center of your screen. Now there's one more thing we need to download, and that's the Curious API here. And what we want to do, again, same process, come over here to the right hand side, scroll down, make sure we're downloading the 1.16.5 version here, and then go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of it. You know the process at this point, just go ahead and keep or save it depending on whichever browser you have. Keep in the bottom left on Google Chrome, save it in Mozilla Firefox. Now, I know that was a lot, but there's still one more thing we need to download, and that's the thing that's going to make all of this work, because if you don't have Forge, none of these mods, none of, even the compatibility mods, aren't going to work in 1.16.5. So to do that, you want to go to the, I think at this point, the fourth link down below, It's or fifth link, fifth link down below is going to be Forge, and it's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for downloading and installing Forge in Minecraft 1.16.5. We're going to be giving you the basics in this video, but if you do have any additional issues or anything like that, come here and uh, this will help you out. Nevertheless, it's going to the green download forge button it's going to take us off to forge's official download page where we want to make sure mc 1.16.5 is selected here if we do see mc 1.16.5 there we're going to go ahead however if it's not there come over here to the left hand side click on 1.16 and then click on 1.16.5 nevertheless we then want to go under download latest and click on the installer button after a few seconds it'll take us up to add focus we're stop do not click anything on this page. What are you doing? I said don't click a single thing on this page whatsoever. Do not click anything on this page. Watch it. And after 10 seconds, you can finally click the red skip button. The only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button that appears in the top right after about 10 to 15 seconds. Depending on how slow your internet is, sometimes it takes a second for the countdown to start. But after about 10 to 15 seconds in the top right, the red skip button will appear and you want to click on that. When you click on the red skip button, automatically in the bottom left, you should see Forge start to download it. As you can see, Forge 1.16.5. I'm going to go ahead and click keep in the bottom left as long as Forge is in the title, which it is. If it's not, click discard and click that red skip button. What are you doing? Only click the red skip button. Nevertheless, on Mozilla Firefox, same thing as long as Forge is in the title. Go ahead and save the file. It's 100% safe to do so. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have a bunch of stuff. We have Botania, we have Patchouli for Botania, and we have the Curious API for Botania. Then we have Forge. Now we're actually going to be starting off with Forge here. The reason for that is because you need Forge in order to run any of these mods. Now, if these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and type in oh, downloads, right like so. And then this downloads file folder here. Click on that, and then in here you will find all of these mods. Drag them to your desktop, including Forge just for ease of use. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and start off with Forge here. Now to do that, you want to go ahead and right click on Forge, click on open with, 
click on Java and click OK. Now, if you don't have Java here or if these files just look weird, they don't look like the Java logo, Java Coffee Cup logo style files that I have here, then what you want to do is go to the description down below and go to this. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. It's a very quick and easy three-step process. And of course, Botanian is a Minecraft mod, so you need this version of Java. It goes through it. Now, if you install this, you should be able to open up Forge with Java if you weren't able to previously, but if you're still having issues, go ahead, come here and run the jar fix. And that's gonna make all the .jar files in your computer link back to Java and restore those logos to how they should look to, to this sort of a logo here. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java and click OK. It's then gonna go ahead and open up the mod system installer for Forge where we just wanna click on Install Client and click OK. It's now downloading, installing, setting up, doing some things, linking Forge to Minecraft, installing it in 1.16.5 and getting everything up and running perfectly and beautifully. So as you can see there, it's just install client profile forge for 1.16.5. Awesome. We go and click OK, and that's going to close out forge. Now let's go ahead and get Botania, Pacholi, and Curios installed. And to do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. But before you go ahead and hit the play button or anything like that, you want to make sure forge is selected. Now, to do that, you want to click on this little arrow here next to the play button, find the forge profile. And as long as it says 1.16.5-forge under it, you get to click on that and click play. But if you don't have forge in here, or if it doesn't say 1.16.5 under it, what you want to do is come over here to the top and go to install. Once you're on the installations tab here, you want to make sure you have this modded button checked over here at the right hand side. As you can see, there was Forge here before. We click modded. Look at that. Forge comes back. So if it's not checked, Forge won't be there. And then if that appears, well then go ahead and click the green play button. But if you still don't have Forge, or again, it doesn't say 1.16.5-Forge under it, what you want to do is go on this plus new button at the top of the installations tab. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own Minecraft 1.16.5 grief protected survival server. We have medieval survival with 30 custom quests, player economy. It's absolutely incredible. Then we have an aquatic survival server with an amazing slash shop based economy and tons and tons of great features over there, including rewards and all sorts of stuff. And then our skyblock is truly the best in the industry with custom minions, amazing islands, custom generators, incredible challenges, over a hundred challenges for you can, to complete. On top of that, there's also an awesome storyline. So go check it out. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now for the version, let's go ahead and click on that. Then let's go ahead and select 1.16.5-Forge. Now mine's up here towards the top. You may have to scroll down a ways to find yours, but mine's right up here. Click on that. Then we can go ahead and change the resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing it just so you all can see once we get in game. We are making a video after all. Then click create in the bottom right. The most important thing being at least 1.16.5-Forge is selected here. Once you click create, you'll have this new profile down here. My case played our breakdowncraft.com. 1.16.5-Forge under it so we can hover over it and click the green play button. It's going to come up and warn you and all this stuff, but don't worry. I understand the risk. You know you're playing modded Minecraft. That's basically all this is saying. You're playing modded Minecraft. Are you okay with that? Yes, you are. You understand. Click play. I hate that they've added that, but it's one of those things. Let us mod Minecraft, Mojang. Let us do it. And I say Mojang, that feels like a, a Microsoft ad. <laughs> but nevertheless, we're now opening up Minecraft and getting everything up and running. And honestly, the hard part's done. The hardest part is getting Forge installed, oddly enough, when it comes to installing mods. Once Forge is installed, it's very, very easy to install mods. So if you're seeing this blue text and all this stuff and things are happening, guess what? The hard part's done. You can take a breath. We're good to go. So nevertheless, once we are on the Minecraft main menu, it's pretty simple to install mods. Here we are. The Minecraft main menu is now open. We can go ahead and click on the mods button here. And in the bottom left, we do have the open, open mods folder. So again, from the Minecraft main menu here, you'll have a mods button, right? Click on that mods button and then click on the open mods folder button in the bottom left. And the most important thing to note when installing Botania is making sure that you install Botania, Patchouli, and the Curious API. So if we drag and drop those, you should have those three mods, all three of those in there. And it is okay if Patchouli is 1.16.4, even though we're in 1.16.5. Now we go ahead and close out of the mods folder once those have been dragged and dropped into them from our desktop. They're not going to appear here, and they're never going to appear here until we click done and then quit the game. Now, again, the hard part's over, so you don't have to worry about creating a new profile or anything. Just open up the Minecraft launcher, and then once you're here, you want to make sure that the profile that has 1.16.5-Forge is selected. It should be automatically selected because you just opened it, but if it's not, click in here and then select it. Nevertheless, you can then click the green play button, and now Minecraft's going to open up with Botania installed. Like I said, the hard part's getting forged. Very, very quick to install Botania after that. You can actually see that it does recognize Botania, Curios, and Pacholi, that they are both, are all three mods are recognized, and they are in game, and it's going to try to open them all. Doesn't mean it's necessarily going to work. We know it's going to work in this case. That's why you're watching this video, but if you do see that in the future, and you're like, what? It says it there, but my mod's still not working. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean it's always going to work. It could be the wrong version of the mod or something like that, but nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until we're on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu and once we are here we can go ahead and click in the mods tab and we can see Patchouli, Curious API, but most importantly Botania. So there it is. Now we want to go ahead and create a new single player world. 
I'm going to name this Botania. I think that's how that's spelled. I'm going to make it creative because that's just easier. And let's go ahead and create a new world. It's now going to go ahead and open up Minecraft with this world. And um, I'll see you after a very quick jump cut once we're in game. Here we are in game. Let's go ahead and get started by crafting a Lexica Botania. So to do that, we're going to need any sapling. Obviously, we could uh, break this down and get a sapling if we wanted. But instead, we are in creative. So we're just going to make this easy. We're going to search for a sapling. Now, we're also going to need a book. That's a little harder to craft when you first get started. But once you get a book, you just combine these in a crafting table. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table. And then we can go ahead and combine a book and a sapling for the Lexica Botania. It's crazy. 415th edition. So now you can go ahead and right click this like any book and it's going to open and then like there's tons of stuff in here it talks about man it talks about all the different stuff and as you progress in this mod it unlocks more and more things as you can see there are mystical flowers that you can pick up so you can go around and find these mythical flowers and mystical flowers and pick them up as you do find them obviously those are just vanilla flowers but it does require a bit of exploring to find them and then once you find them you can pick them up like right here boom so these are going to be oh i uh, apparently can't pick them up that, that, that way. But nevertheless, those are Alexica, or those are Botania flowers that you can learn about in the Lexica Botania. But this is a very, very in-depth mod, and uh, this is kind of where my knowledge of it ends. I've played with it some in the past, but that's why I love this mod, because it walks you through it here. You have this guide. As you can see, basic mechanics. You're learning different things, doing different things, and then you just continue and, and go on from there. You can learn about all the different flowers here, what they can do. It's all very, very in-depth, and I love it because there's so much to read about, so much to learn about, and so much to just do with this mod in Minecraft. So, yeah, there you have that. That is one of the flowers over there. I think there's some more over here. I don't think these are vanilla flowers from a distance, at least. Yes, yes, these are these are Lexica Botania flowers. Um, let's see if I can break some of the... Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's uh, unfortunately... Not letting me do that, but that's okay. There's more over here. <laughs> so as you can see, these are just really, really cool. I think if I was in uh, survival, by the way, I could actually pick these up, but uh, I'm not. So anyway, we can come back over here and go back. And as you can see, we're unlocking more things as we complete advancements. And there are advancements for Botania. So you can see here, open the Lexica Botania and have a look through the index. So basically, we just have to look through it. And uh, if we go, to, I'm sure, into welcome, probably it's going to unlock more and so on and so forth until we've looked kind of through all of the stuff that we have. Let's go all the way through this one and then all the way through this one as well and see if we can start to unlock some different stuff. Am I missing something? Oh, you can also bookmark here. It's crazy. So much cool stuff. So much cool stuff. But um, yeah, there you have it. So that is how you can actually get things opened up and get things started with Botania. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Come play this on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play it at breakdowncraft.com. I cannot wait to see you online. Again, my name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.